Okay, and we're here. So I'm here with Manal. Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. And she is the owner and CEO and top everything uh, for the Love of Sugar Detroit. So actually, I should probably show this like while we're here because this is something that's really cool. Look at that. Yeah. So that's what brought me to your store first. I just saw like all the cakes in there and I was like, that yeah. is the coolest. Thank you. Because I haven't seen any like other bakery that has like this setup. Mm -hmm. Where did you get, where, where did this come from? Where did the idea for this come from? Um, I mean the idea is, is basically, you know, cakes and all of that are sort of like an edible art. Mm -hmm. um, so these are kind of like my show pieces. Um, there's frames around each one because it's an, it's an art piece and each one is on a dresser. Just, I, you know, that just makes, I didn't want to just do like countertops or anything. It just, I feel like it's more homey and more, uh, I don't know, it's just more warm. Oh yeah, I, the, the frames are like, that, that's what got me here too. I was like, yeah. that's so cool. Did you, like, uh, do, do, you, do you bake yourself? Is that how you started doing this thing? Yeah, so I mean, I would do it for fun and as like a side gig kind of thing and it just it just became a bigger more and more of a passion for me okay so what's your favorite flavor of like cake well my favorite cake is the matilda cake it was inspired by that, the movie mm -hmm. um that chocolate fudge cake and i just wanted to recreate that Okay, that's actually, I was saying like, I, I came here on a date with a girl once, that's what I had. It was really good, so, <laughs> good, congr like, good. congratulations for making that, I loved it. Awesome. And then I, I had like, you have a lot of gluten-free stuff here too, yeah, which I is do. really awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, did you do that because like, people are like, more aware of like, allergies and things like that? Was that yeah, a concern I mean, for you? I did it, so I do vegan, I do gluten-free stuff, I do a lot of it because it's hard for a lot of people to find stuff that have allergens and can't have it at a lot of places, but I still want to to be able to offer something that they could enjoy and not feel like they're missing out on anything. Cause I mean, cake makes me really happy. So I wanted, <laughs> yeah. I wanted, it makes uh, everyone happy. yeah, I wanted to make other people happy with it. So yeah, so that's why I do a, it. That's awesome. You want to make other people happy with cake? Yeah, I mean, that's, it, that's no, it works. <laughs> I'm, I'm Arabic and you know, part of our culture is, is showing affection with food. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, it's, it's a huge part of and us. You started the right place for that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> who, I, who eats a cupcake and goes, man, I'm not happy. Like, no, that makes everyone happy. Yeah, everyone likes cake. exactly. So I just wanted, to, you know, my mom, like, when people come over, she, like, shoves food down their throat, like, eat, eat, eat. Like, me, I'm like that with sweets, you know. I my want people to, to eat it. I want people to enjoy it. And, um, yeah, and this is kind of, like, my outlet to do that. Okay, yeah, like, I'm sorry, I'm from India, mm -hmm. and my mom does the exact same thing. Yeah, our cultures are yeah. very similar. Yeah. Very like, similar. even if someone's coming over just to, like, drop something off, it's mm -hmm. like, so here's a tray of, like, nuts, candy, food, yeah. tea, and I was like, wait, yeah. they're, only, they're here for five minutes, but she'll bring, like, a whole, yeah, like, assortment, it's incredible. that's how we show, like, you know, just... That's a welcoming thing, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. For sure. That's so cool. Have you ever had, like, any flavors that didn't work? Um... I mean, I've, I've had flavors that not necessarily didn't work, but just didn't work as well as others. So when, when we first opened, um, I had a bunch of like flavor ideas in mind, but I didn't have like my set flavors. So what I would do is I would just rotate in um, all different kinds of flavors, all like, you know, my ideas that I had to put out there. And then, you know, I just stuck with the ones that, that people asked for more, uh, more often, okay. the ones that you know, went through the case quicker, in and out of the case quicker, and then those became like my signature flavors. But now I also, I also like rotate in, we have like eight signature flavors right now, but I also rotate in new flavors when, when we get a chance to like try something different. And then there's certain flavors that people like still ask for, like when you're gonna make this again, when you're gonna make this like again. Like seasonal stuff? Yeah. And okay, then, so we'll really make cool. um, yeah. so we'll make those more often, but it's really just you know making sure to listen to customers and listen to the feedback and what they want because I have I have a different taste than you're gonna have. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna love chocolate and somebody's gonna hate chocolate, but it doesn't mean that who hates chocolate. You know, Come on, you'd be guys. surprised. Come on. But so it's it's really just not necessarily accommodating to one person's taste buds, but yeah. the general public, like somebody you could. You can eat something and say it's too sweet, and I can say it's not sweet enough. So it's just it's trying yeah. to create a balance between between different things, and 
What's cool though is a lot of times we can customize to the person. Um, a lot of our items are not super sweet, so people are surprised by that. It's actually it's like, of sugar. I, I don't like really sweet foods. Yeah. And this is like what I had. Um, I had a few things. Like I've had a bunch of things, sweet, but <laughs> the one that like I liked the most was it was it was a glut it was gluten free vanilla, and it was like some. Some fudge. Chocolate. I don't remember what it was. It was just like a really like. Chips it was something. some something that was like gluten free chocolate something, and I have it on video actually. But <laughs> I just remember eating it. I was like, this is really good because like yeah. sometimes it just tastes like sugar and yeah. like there's no like flavor to it. But and like, it's yeah, and it's it's really cool because I've really um, you know changed a lot of people's minds on you know cake and stuff. A lot of people we get a lot of people that come in and they're like, I don't. I don't typically like cake, but like I really like. Who this are cake. these people? <laughs> just no. coming. I well, don't even, like cake. Even my employees, like a few of my employees, aren't like cake people, but um, they love the cake. Like they'll they'll like talk fairly highly of it, and it's not because I tell them to. They really, I really um, encourage the employees here and the team here to make sure they're like trying this stuff and you know eating this stuff. And, oh really? Yeah, I mean, that's really cool. I want them, right. I want I've never heard speak, of that one before. Yeah, I want them to speak yeah. honestly about it. Okay. I don't. You yeah. know, we get a lot of customers that are like, oh, what's your favorite? Or we'll come in and ask, uh, what do you recommend? And it's not necessarily like, you know. This is our top seller. For me, it's more so, you know, what do you like? Do you like, are you more of a chocolate person? Or are you more of a vanilla person? And then kind of like, you know, moving around there and, and, and recommending certain things. I let them know my favorite is Matilda, obviously. But, um, you know, if it does, some, sometimes they don't like chocolate. So I'll just. Every time you say it, it just hurts me right here. I know, I know. Who? Why? <laughs> but yeah, so like even like the employees uh, will, will definitely. You know, let people know like they may not like this, but their favorite is this one. So that that's the cool part. It's like when when you ask them like, what's your favorite flavor? That actually is their favorite. They're just like yeah. trying to like push something. It's like no, I yeah. actually like this, which is really cool. Yeah, if they don't like something, I'm not gonna like you know force them to tell people. Yeah, it's not gonna be like yeah, actual but, Matilda where it's know, like eat the whole cake. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. So that's, for those of you who don't know who Matilda is, come on. But cause some people just, don't know. Just look it up. Yeah. The one of, like actually, so the girl, like one of the, the girl that I brought here, she did not know who Matilda was. Okay. And that's the end of the relationship. Oh well. Couldn't do it. Sorry. Couldn't do it. Should have just searched it. I probably should have told her that. See, this is why I don't plan ahead for these things. I, I definitely should have done that. What? Is, that, that's the coolest part, by the way, that your employees yeah. actually like they, they taste the food and they'll tell you like if they like it or not. That's something yeah, that's unique I mean, here. I haven't heard of any other place doing that. Yeah, I mean it's a lot of Starbucks doesn't do that. Well, no, Starbucks is a <laughs> different. Story. Yeah, there's a way different like situation. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I mean it's a huge part of what I do from the very beginning. Um, just trying to get feedback from other people. Sometimes it's like it's hard to hear to hear certain things, but. Um, it is but it's how, good to hear. Like, you need to know the truth. Like, yeah, like, and, and, I mean, my husband is like my worst critic. Oh really? Yeah, like, like oh, he's gonna tell you he likes everything. No, like he'll tell me the truth. So a lot of my recipes kind of are uh, more so accommodating his palate. <laughs> but I have a lot of like birthday cake stuff because him and his friends love anything birthday cake flavored. So we like the birthday cake latte, the birthday cake cake, a birthday cake macaroon, a birthday cake cookie. There's a lot of birthday cake. Yeah, so. Oh, and I know a lot of um, you had your birthday like at the stores recently, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was what anniversary that was, really was that? Cool. That was one. That was our first birthday. Oh, that was the first one. That was our first. Okay, birthday. that's awesome. I, just, yeah. I saw the post on Instagram. And I was like, whoa, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was our first birthday. Um, it was really exciting. It was, it was a huge milestone. Yeah. Um, Good for you. So thank you. Do you ever have like? I'm trying to think. Like, how, how do I word this without like? So do you ever have people like come in, like complaining that your cake wasn't like good enough or something? Like, well, have you ever, like, an angry customer come into a bakery? Um, I mean, we get so many people, there's gonna be, like, those Right, I mean, out of, a, out of a hundred, there's gonna be, for sure, be one. Yeah, like, that's exactly. A guarantee. I mean, it's not, you know, I think people are, are typically really respectful about it. Um, but a lot of times nowadays, there's, there's Yelp and, like, all that uh, other yeah. stuff <laughs> that they'll, uh, they'll make the time to, to go on and, um, leave the reviews but for the I mean for the most part we get amazing reviews but for the some that we don't it's it's uh, just trying to learn from that experience you know if somebody uh, comes in and, and says um, you know 
like so so for example we have a cake called knife cake it's based on a middle eastern dessert it's very different it has rose water orange blossom in it um shredded phyllo dough pistachios but you know it some people that have aren't familiar with those flavors with but they want to try something different you know they may try it and not like it but the thing is we especially with the knife cake we tell people beforehand like these are what's in it so if you don't mm -hmm. like these certain stuff or if you're not like willing to try something different then i don't recommend it but um you know we, we try to inform people beforehand as much as we can you know so that like we don't get too right. many people that are surprised and stuff like the matilda cake it's 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 chocolate cake you look it's at it very chocolate very cake, chocolate cake black chocolate <laughs> buttercream like you look at it and you know what it is if you're not a chocolate person, oh, don't get it. That was the cake. It was it was gluten-free vanilla chocolate buttercream. Yeah. That's okay. what it was. It was yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. Sorry. That was in my head the whole time, but it was really good. That's <laughs> what I had. I figured it out. Yeah. That's a super... It's a, it's a classic. What's your most popular like thing people get here? Like food-wise. Because like, like, they serve coffee too. Yeah. We have amazing coffee, lattes. Um, the most, I mean, the Matilda cake is the most popular one. I bet it's uh, so good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, it might even just be because, like, I don't know, I, I talk so highly of it all the time because that is my favorite. It's, yeah. Um, it's just layers of chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Yeah, but we have all the stuff that so isn't chocolate. Right. Um, it's just like, I, I love chocolate. That's yeah. Why I have the chocolate more. Yeah, we have a uh, we have a different cake. Uh, it's called the triple berry cake. It's like a, a white cake, triple berry jam, and Bavarian cream, and that one is super popular. Um, also, the fruity pebbles cake is really popular. It's like rainbow layers, and then it's filled with a fruity pebble buttercream. Um, and then the birthday cake, which is like our, always birthday cake. It's always yeah, there. It's like it's like a fun like takes you back to your childhood kind of cake. Um, but we have a ton of other ones like the carrot banana cake is really good. Um, How do you come up with new velvet. flavors? I don't know. Some people just like look and like look at stuff and be like, oh, what can I do with this? Um, like I was at so like for example, I was at like Bed Bath and Beyond one day grabbing stuff and. Um, there was a bag of Swedish fish by the register, and I was like, eh, I, could, I could do something with this. So Swedish I'm like, fish? Cake? Yeah. So no, so I actually grabbed oh, okay. it, and I ended up, I ended up making, making uh, Swedish fish macaroons with it. Okay. So, I never um, had a macaroon. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which That's is crazy. like, no. I've had like a bunch of, like, like so I, I don't actually eat a lot of junk food. Like, so this is my diet, which everyone will tell me, like, how I'm the most boring eater of all time. Mm -hmm. But I don't, um, like, I don't eat chips, I don't drink pop, I don't, like, I don't eat beef. I don't really eat meat in general, and like I don't like really. I don't. The only junk food I ever actually had, like last time I had pizza, was like a year ago. Last, well, that sounds really healthy. And the, well, yeah, but everyone calls, calls it boring. Like I don't like. I don't really. The only like real thing that's like I eat that's like completely junk food is like mm -hmm. anything that you can put like in an oven and bake it. So like cookies, brownies, okay, cake. Oh my, I'll just destroy those. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. that's that's where like my vice is. Mm -hmm. But I've never had a macaroon. Yeah. Which they're extremely good. Oh, I mean, I've, they're, there's so many of them. And like everywhere you go, they're always selling them. I just don't. Is it? What does it taste like? You gotta describe it. Um, it's hard to describe it because it's not. If you've never had one, it's it's not really something you've had before. Um, it's kind of like a, a delicate cookie, um, sandwiched with like a buttercream filling or some sort of filling on the inside. It's uh, it's supposed to be like crispy when you first bite into it, but then chewy. So a lot of times though, a lot of people have had like bad macaroons. So with that said, that's how they think the macaroons are not supposed to be hard. They're not supposed to be like Okay, that's what I out. think they are. Like when I saw that, I thought there was like two like like crackers and like something like in between. No, so it's supposed to be chewy. And okay, the, like you're I, I've never had one. It, and then yeah. it's chewy. Um, but we work really hard on our uh, on our texture and on our um, just quality control and all of that. But it's it's some people are con um, are a little bit confused though because if they have a hard one, sometimes they think it's because it's old. But sometimes it could be because it's too fresh. Too uh, fresh. Yeah. That's possible. Yep. So sometimes okay. um, we're fresh. constantly checking the macaroons. We're constantly um, grabbing them and breaking them to test like the texture and all of that. Uh, sometimes if they're, you know, too hard, we need to let them sit overnight um, before we can put them out in the case. But a lot of that is uh, just quality control constantly. So, yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> it is. It is. That's why there aren't a ton of macaroons everywhere and anywhere. 
one of the other things I really like about like this place and like and you in particular is that mm -hmm. you're really responsible over Instagram. Like people yeah. will comment on it, like you'll actually like reply back to them. Like yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, I'm which very... doesn't like you would be surprised how little, and it's actually you. Yeah, which is me. awesome. Like it's not so like, you're not like messaging someone who's managing like her page. It's actually her on Instagram, yes. which is the coolest part. Thank you. Like thank I'm, you. That is like that's one of the things that like that brought me here especially because like yeah. it was like a while ago. I, I just commented on like some I don't even know what the picture was. Mm -hmm. And I was like I wonder how that tastes. And I, I, I'm assuming it was you like well you yeah, come on down and send me this like whatever. That's how I got here. Yeah, cool. So, awesome. Such a, that's, like it's really cool to like, interact with like people like your, your yeah. fans. Like, I mean it's it's personal. I started I started the page off. You know I was working from home and and I had stuff and it was really like to showcase my work and stuff and it just slowly like it's it's you know my Her Instagram is very, really good. There's a lot of you. awesome awesome Thank pictures you. there. It's very it's very organic. Um, you know I I never uh, you know I never expected any of this to happen. But um, even if you scroll keep scrolling through down in the page, you'll see like the uh, you know you can see for yourself the progress and, and from the beginning from where I started and the the difference of. Um, just the work and the quality and the experience is there. So, um, when did you first get the idea of having like a bakery? Like way, like like when did you start working on this? I don't and even when did you know. get like a store? Uh, just always had it like in the back of your no, head. No, I didn't. I never even thought about it. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but um, I went to school for marketing management and just you know I had a hard time finding a job. I did baking on the side and I would always like watch. You know, Food Network. Um, cake Boss. Yes. Cake oh really? Boss, yes. Okay. Like Cake Boss, Cupcake Wars, you all love that cake stuff. Boss. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's really what got me like into it, and um, you know, my husband now, when we were like getting to know each other, we would just literally just spend time watching Food Network. So yep. that was that was uh, that was our thing. So um, and then I would like want to try making stuff, and and then I would start making stuff, and people saw that. Like I was doing this stuff and they're like, oh, can you make this for me and can you make that for me? And I was like, okay. And then it just, that's really just how it happened and just slowly. Is slowly. it hard to bake? I've never baked like, I haven't made brownies or like, I've never like, the only thing that I can like cook is with like, I can cook like Indian food, mm -hmm. which is, we don't use it in like, like oven like that. For our food. Yeah, so that's, yeah. I've never used it before. Like, is oh it, my God, that's funny. Is it like hard? Yeah, it's, it's chemistry. It's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of trying this and trying that, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Um, you know, it's it's very hard. It's you know, you can put something in the oven and then it'll come come out completely. It comes out completely different. The whole chemistry of the yeah. that, that's usually how my food works. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, when you're cooking and stuff, it's baking is. I think baking is a lot more difficult than cooking. You know, when you're cooking, if you're if you're tasting as you go on the stove, and if it needs more salt, you're adding more salt. You can easily add more seasoning to yeah. it. You know? Oh, but you, so you can't really do that if it's already like. You can. That's, that's a good you, point. Once you put it in the oven, point. that's it. Whatever comes out is what comes out. You're gonna either that's have tough. to toss it or. <laughs> yeah. How often does that happen? You just like bring it out and you're like, what? I mean, it that? happened a lot with me. Oh, really? A lot. It happened a lot, yes. Um, I have so many recipes that failed and so many recipes that did not come out how I wanted them to come out, but. You know, I tried to take every one of those and figure out why and figure out what I did, what I didn't do, what I should do. I, I did a lot of research. Um, so, Good for you. Like, yeah. I mean, I like the Matilda cake did not just happen. Like that's taken yeah. years and years, like just trying to, um, you know, work on a chocolate cake recipe. But then even the Matilda buttercream is, you know, it's taken time to it's develop. It's called Matilda buttercream? Well, yeah, the, the, yeah. Oh, we make a, awesome. I have a specific Matilda buttercream for that cake, so yeah, it's not just like a regular chocolate buttercream. I just okay. What is like? Oh wow. Okay. There's I didn't know that that much goes into like. Oh, a lot like, goes yeah, into I, yeah. You're talking to someone who doesn't know how to like really cook anything that hard or bake anything in their lives. So this is like a lot of like just awesome. Yeah. What's the hardest thing you've had to make, like cake-wise? Like, have you ever had a customer come and be like, I want, like, a cake that's, like, so super specific that's, like, impossible to make? Um, I mean, it, it depends, like... You can so, just say yes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Who was most, it? Most definitely. No, I mean, I had a cake that I had to do when I worked from home when I was doing, like, more, like, 3D-type cakes, and it was, it was, like, a, like, a bust of, like, um, Batman, and, you know, it was... 
it was it was actually a very significant time in my life. Really? That cake, yeah. Um, you know, it was, it was it honestly like when I made it, it was it was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. It was very. Uh, it was, it was very difficult, it was a lot more difficult than I thought, and I thought I was like, you know, doing it correctly, but in the end, it ended up like, collapsing, and it was like, oh, yeah, so, um, but I got a really, I got a really, uh, meat call from uh, the customer, yeah, it's okay, um, you know, and they said something, or like, like, if you don't think you can do it, don't do it, or, and, um, you know, I cried. I cried all um, my. I, was, I should not have brought that up. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Not at all. I was trying to go with this. It was. Oh, it was a big, a big part in like who I am and stuff. Even though it was like, maybe it was just like a cake for them, but like for me, it was like, you know, for somebody to tell me if you can't do something, don't do it. Like, no. Like if if I if I if I did that, then I would not be like where I am today. So. You know. Yeah. Well, you, now you have like your own job. You, yeah. You made. Like, yeah, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I will always come around to certain um, times in my life where I think I can do it and maybe it doesn't come out as, as I want it to or as good as I want it to or maybe sometimes it doesn't work out but it doesn't mean I'm just gonna stop and, you know, give up. It's just not in my blood to do that, so. That's good because I wanted a Batman cake for my birthday. So yeah, two D. <laughs> <laughs> That's our time. All right. Cool. All right. So thank you so much. Um, where can they find you on Instagram? Uh, for the love of sugar, Detroit on Facebook and Instagram. The food's really good. I, rec I recommend the Matilda cake if you haven't got that already from this. <laughs> it's so chocolatey. It's so okay. delicious. Yeah. So th thank you for coming. You're welcome. All right. Thank you for watching. Stay fresh. Thank you. Stay